How's it going viewers? Thank you guys for watching this video. In this video I'll be taking a look at the Plasma Series case from Urban Armor Gear for the iPhone 7 slash 6S Plus. And before I get started I'd just like to take a second to thank Urban Armor Gear for giving me this opportunity to review their product. So thank you. And for you viewers, if you guys do like this product, you guys can go ahead and check it out. I'll have a link in the description below. So I'm just going to start off by taking a look at the box, the boxing that it comes in. Uh, Urban Armor Gear, it's got the logo up there. It's got a drop test with a military mill spec. Uh, it's got a nice little design of some outdoor activities going on there. And down here lower left, it says that it's got the three layer protection, plasma series case, uh, designed for the iPhone 7 slash 6S Plus. Go ahead and move over to one of the sides. Urban Armor Gear, rugged, lightweight, drop tested protection, uh, plasma three layer protection. So this is a plasma series. And move over to the other side. It is very similar, says the very same stuff. And moving on to the back, uh, Urban Armor Gear. And it's got some of the different features, impact resistant corners, feather light, easy access, the anti-scratch. It's got a screen surround and a glare free flash. So that's pretty cool. Three layers of protection and it shows the three layers of protection. Uh, first one being the armor shell, uh, shock cushions, and then an impact resistant rubber. So the three, uh, three layers of protection. So that's what we got here in the box. I'm gonna go ahead, open this up and we'll take a closer look at the case. So there we have it, there is the iPhone 7 Plus case. This is one of three colors that are offered at this time for the iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, there's a ice, ash, and a citron. The ice, which is this, is more of a white color. Uh, the ash is more of a gray color, and the citron is a green color. So uh, this is the white one, this is ice. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and take a look at the design, uh, kind of the composition, see what it's made out of. Uh, as you guys can see, the main component in this one is a plastic, the clear uh, see-through plastic, which you can kind of see through and see the design of your phone once it is in. Uh, the next little bit is there is some rubber, rubber pieces. There are five of them, two on the sides and then one on the bottom. These are just little shock cushions to help absorb any kind of shock if the phone were to get dropped. And the third uh, bit of stuff that it's made out of is kind of an impact resistant uh, rubber, kind of a silicone. It's more of a harder silicone or a lighter rubber. Uh, it does bend in certain areas. You can kind of get it to move around. Um, and I did notice that the plastic here, you can't exactly bend it on the sides. The plastic does wrap around. So it starts from one end, wraps to the back, and then wraps all the way around to the other side. It's got a little uh, rib type of a design there just to kind of give it a little bit of holding or just something to kind of grip onto. So those are the three main uh, components of the case. I'm going to go ahead and install the phone uh, that, like I always do. I like to install the phone with the side with the most buttons going in first. So I'm going to go ahead and install that side in, make sure the corners are down. Uh, and then I will slide this forward and push down simultaneously. And just like that, nice and easy, it does pop right into place. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys that this is the black iPhone 7 Plus with the white Urban Armor Gear case. So you guys can see it is see-through. You're able to see somewhat see the Apple logo in, in real life. So you guys can kind of see it there a little bit with a glare. Um, so that is what it looks like. It does look nice with the black uh, in here with the black rubber and then the black case in the back. Looks pretty cool to me. So I'm just going to go ahead and start by taking a look at the openings and the buttons. Uh, down here on this side, you can see there is a power button. It is a different texture. It does click fairly easy, so that is nice. Uh, there is a little bit of a impact resistant corner. It's a little bulked up, giving it a little bit of extra cushion there. Uh, so and then once I had again, like I mentioned earlier, there is the ribs going down the side of the case, hitting the impact resistant corner. Once again, it's a little beefed up. Uh, on the bottom here, we do have openings for the speakers, the headphone slash charging port, and microphone and other uh, bits of stuff in there. And you guys can see there is an opening, a round circular opening for the traditional um, headphones. So this is once again compatible with the iPhone 7 Plus and the 6S Plus. So keep that in mind. So they did not make that by accident. That was designed that way. Uh, moving on here, we do have some more ribs and we run into the volume up and down buttons and the mute switch. The buttons do stick out, which makes it nice to find. They click fairly easily. 
makes it uh, almost feels like you're hitting the actual button. You can hear the click, you can feel it click, so that is nice. Uh, and then the mute switch opening is fairly large, uh, it's, so it's nice and easily accessible. Um, I'm able to get that with fingernail. I'm able to get it just with the finger alone, so that makes it nice and easy to to use. So that's very user friendly. Uh, the top, there are no features on the top, so it is nice and enclosed. Give it the extra bit of protection. So here we are looking at the back side. Uh, there is an opening for your dual camera, your microphone, and your flash. There is a beveled angle there to give it the anti-glare flash, which is somewhat nice. Help help if you're using flash with pictures, kind of help in that sense. And then I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over, take a look at the front. On the front, there is that surround edge protection, it goes all the way around the perimeter of the phone here on the front facing side. So if you were to drop your phone face down, there's a little bit of a cushion there, a little bit of protection, or if it were to slide around, this also does help uh, with that so it won't scratch your screen as much. This is one of the nicer uh, slim cases that are out there on the market. Uh, this is pretty cool. This is one that I would personally recommend. Um, I've used very similar cases like this from Urban Armor Gear and I was satisfied, I was happy with it. So I do give these guys a thumbs up. If you're looking for something similar to this design, I'll give this one a thumbs up. You guys can check it out. I will have a link in the description below so you guys can check that out there. Um, if you guys like this video, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. Uh, be sure to subscribe. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to get back and answer any questions. If you guys have any suggestions, I am open to hearing them as well. So go ahead and drop that there. Um, thank you guys for watching. That's all I got for you guys in this one. Have a nice day.